Okay, I'm gonna snap. Good? Good clap, yeah. Hey everybody, Erica here, and I am at bio headquarters with our founder and CEO, Jonathan Cedar, and we are here to answer some of your questions about backup by bio -Light. Thanks for being here. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so before we get into questions that we've been getting from the community, um, figured up room for a little bit of backstory. What was the inspiring insight behind backup? Yeah, sure. So. You know, BioLight since 2012 has been on a mission to empower people and protect the planet through access to renewable energy. And we've always thought that that sort of speaks to two main categories of people, right? People who live off the grid by circumstance, and that's really what the focus of our work in Africa is, where we've helped now 15 million people gain first access to energy um, through our solar lighting kits and our clean cook stoves. And then we said people who go off the grid voluntarily, right, to sort of recharge themselves. And that really spoke into our recreation markets um, where, you know, we do headlamps and lanterns and things like that. And, you know, through that work, we've become um, really skilled at developing these very safe, very durable, really, really reliable battery systems. And as we've looked closer to home, we said, whoa, there's lots of folks in our own communities who are ending up off grid temporarily unintentionally through blackouts. And, and so we said, well, gosh, isn't that really a part of our mission that we're not addressing? How do we broaden our lens to uh, also help people be more resilient when the grid goes down unexpectedly? And then that was sort of the origins of, of thinking about a solution like backup. That's awesome. So that actually takes me to the first question slash comment from the community, which is, we're not the first to be in the home backup space. So what are we doing different? Like why, why do we have a right to play in that space and what's special about the backup solution? Yeah, so when we looked at backup, you're right. Like there are solutions for backup in, in resiliency applications. I think the first you know, dominant group there has been um, for a long time, gas, diesel, propane generators. Um, and then increasingly these battery systems like the Tesla Powerwall or the LG, LG Resu systems um, the challenge there has been they're very expensive. So, you know, while the hardware itself might cost $10,000, the contractors, the permitting, the electricians um, to get that all installed could add easily another $10,000 on top. And so you're really talking about solutions that are roughly $20,000 and up. And that's just a lot of money for a lot of folks and let alone renters, right? Renters don't, you know, you can't install something in your rental uh, like like a you know Generac Gen Set, and so so the first thing we looked at is like how do we make backup energy accessible to a wider swath of customers um, by by really addressing the price. Then we did see that there are some things like portable power stations that can come at more affordable prices, but they're really not geared to work with you in your home. So um, first and foremost. Uh, they're really uh, bulky, right? And usually you're gonna store them in a closet. Um, in a closet, it's very unlikely that you're keeping them plugged in all the time. So how do you know that they're gonna be ready in the event of a blackout? If you're not home, you know, certain things like your fridge that are very time sensitive to backup won't be automatically backed up because this thing's living in your basement, your closet, your garage. Um, and so those were really kind of the two insights, right? How do we get the cost down? And how do we make the application such that um, it's really ready to go the instant that the grid goes down in your home. And, and those were the two problems that we're really trying to solve with backup. Cool, and then it feels like with portables in particular, we kind of stumbled on an additional unlock, which is the approachability of portable price points, but with the added benefit of a tax credit. Can you talk a little bit about how our kind of design and industrial design unlocked that? Yeah, for sure. So. Um, the IRA, uh, the Inflation Reduction Act, uh, had a provision to really help encourage the adoption of clean energy through a 30% tax credit for battery systems that get installed in the home above three kilowatt hours. And so that was really kind of our North Star. How do we take a third of the cost out of the system through accessing the IRA tax credit? And so one is the backup complete kit is a three uh, kilowatt hour system, so it qualifies 
from a uh, sizing standpoint. Mm -hmm. um, but the other piece is it needs to be installed, right? It needs to be constantly connected to your home and ready to go. And that's what, by being able to hide this on top of your refrigerator, behind your refrigerator, constantly having it plugged in, constantly having it connected to load, it also qualifies as an installed device. And so it meets the two criteria for the IRA tax credit. Cool, and so for, for some people who might be watching and learning about backup for the first time, you know, we're talking about the fridge a lot or hiding above or below. Why the fridge? Well, so when we started looking at this problem, we said, okay, we know resiliency is a, is a increasing need, right? As, um, you know, extreme weather events become more frequent with climate change as we start to learn about the vulnerabilities within our grids. So, you know, we started to interview customers for what it was that they were most anxious about when the grid goes away. And the first thing every single person told us was, my fridge, my fridge, my food. And and so one, one piece of that I think is economic, right? There's, um, you know, a lot of cost, uh, you know, the expense of your food that gets lost when the grid goes down. Um, but I think the other piece is just, you know, your fresh food is sort of essential to maintain life at home, right? If you don't have enough food at home, it's very hard to stay in your house. and. And so that really got us focused on the kitchen. And then we also started to realize that there's lots of unused spaces in your home, right? Like people don't want a big eyesore. Uh, they're not looking for another coffee table size battery, right? They're looking um, to know that they have resiliency, but not, be, not have it in your face all day, every day. And we saw that, okay, well, on top of the fridge, there's usually, you know, some spare space behind the fridge. Um, if you're going to put this in other rooms, underneath your desk, underneath your bed, like how do we fit into spaces that are kind of forgettable in the home so we're not demanding valuable real estate from, from the customer? Um, and, and that drove a lot of the design criteria. Usually those spaces are uh, very thin, right? And, and so we sort of, uh, some, sometimes I, I jokingly refer to it as the pizza box, right? Like how, you know, how do you find something that's like a pizza box where you can kind of slide it into all of these forgotten spaces um, such that it's it's there when you need it, but you're not tripping over it all the time. Which is kind of the benefit of whole home solutions is it's out of sight, out of mind, but always on. Right, right. And so, so, so for us, I think we can give you those benefits of a whole home solution, but you can install this yourself in, you know, we say 30 minutes, we've had people install them in under 10 minutes. Um, uh, and therefore avoid all that cost and complexity of professional installation. Which brings me to the next question, which is, why did we decide to launch Backup on Kickstarter? You know, we're, we've been around a long time. Uh, we've, we launch products in other channels. You know, we've been in, in REI and, and other places that, that people know and love. So why did we decide to come to Kickstarter for this one? I mean, I would say, I would say for two reasons. One is the Kickstarter um, community has uh, been incredibly supportive of BioLite, and I think one of the ways that we give back is we put our newest technology on Kickstarter first, so that the people who have supported us always get the first access to our coolest, most exciting new ideas. And so that's, you know, I think that's just a, a bit of a, yeah, a responsibility to the community that has helped us get to where we are. Um, I think the other piece is uh, we really appreciate the feedback, the questions. Um, the Kickstarter community asks us such amazing questions, I'd say half of which were like, oh, we know the answer to that, and the other half were like, wow, you've raised a question we didn't really think of, let us make sure we're prepared to answer it. Um, and so I think particularly for uh, a launch like Backup, which is not just a new product, but really a new business unit for us, right? It's not a camping customer, it's not an African off-grid customer, we're, we're speaking to people in their homes at higher price points than we've worked with in the past. Like, there's a lot uh, for us to learn as an organization about, um, you know, the technology piece we've got in the bag, the meeting people's expectations, supporting them through that process. These are places where our community really helps us learn in ways that can, um, you know, beyond the physical product itself, make sure that everyone's experience uh, is, is just incredible. And so we really value those early learnings that we get from the Kickstarter community so that by the time the product ships, um, we feel much more dialed in terms of how to answer all those corner case questions that have not come up in the, you know, 90 plus people that we have, you know, inside our four walls. They're making us smarter. Making us a lot smarter. Yeah. And also this is a good plug that for folks who might be new to BioLite but not new to Kickstarter, 
This is our fifth Kickstarter and we have fulfilled every Kickstarter campaign. Everyone has shipped, people receive their product, you get access to BioLite customer service. So this is, this is a Kickstarter you can depend on. Yes, not, not in the business of vaporware over here. Um, we, we have, uh, one, one of the things that's just really important to us as a, as a brand, as uh, just professionals investing our careers in clean energy is that our, our say-do ratio is, is really accurate, right? Like we, we do exactly what we say and we, we stand behind that all the time. So my last question, and it's a little bit of a, it makes me a little nervous because, you know, I want to say like backups for everybody, but I think it's important to say like, you know, we're getting comments where people are like, I love this. And then and we get some where people are coming with their critiques or they're comparing us to something else. And so I'm going to put you in the hot seat for a second and tell me who backup is for, like, who is the ideal customer? Who can we really deliver value to? And tell me who backup maybe isn't for. Sure. Um... So I would say that backup is for the customer who wants a quick and easy and comparatively affordable way to back up their most critical spaces in their home with, you know, certainly the, the kitchen being first and foremost, but we know that some people might have critical needs outside the kitchen as well. And so I think, I think that is what, that is who backup is for. Um, and, and so if you're, you know, so as an example, if you're not ready to spend $20,000, if you're not ready to spend three months in a permitting and planning process, um, like backup is an excellent alternative to that. Uh, if you're a renter and, you, if you're a renter, and you're not allowed to do that. Right, for, you know, between 40 and 50% of Americans rent um, and those folks don't really have good options for it, for installation. Um, so, so that's who backup is for, um, which is a very wide audience. I would say who's backup you know, less well suited to. I think if, if your objective is to back up your whole home um, and you have the budget to support that, uh, I don't think backup is your best option, right? Like if you want every room in your house to work as though the grid was up, your air conditioning, et cetera, like, you know, it will cost you 15 to $20,000 to do that. But like, you know, you will have that whole home experience if you can invest that $20,000. Um, I would say, uh, you know, while backup can integrate with installed solar, um, there's no reason it can't. By the time you have installed solar in your home, you're already engaging with contractors in ways that tying in an installed battery could be a better option for you. So again, I think we still hit the, the easy button on that in terms of being able to do it quickly, but I think if you're really trying to augment an existing system in your home, I'd say reach out and we can help you figure out if backup is right or not. But but by the time you are making installed energy upgrades, I, I think you're a little bit outside the sweet spot of who our customer is. And, and so, you know, when I, when I think of who backup is for, um, mom and dad don't kill me, but no, I think it's for my parents, right? My parents are comfortable enough to go to Best Buy and buy a, you know, flat screen TV and put a couple of screws in the wall and hang it on the wall, right? And um, what they're not comfortable enough to do is understand amperage ratings and battery ratings and how to connect batteries to solar, right? Like the stuff that gets a lot more complicated. And my parents aren't ready to drop 20,000 bucks to install this generator, you know, like a, a fully installed solution. So like, for me, my North Star has always been my parents where it sort of meets that they want the easy button, um, and, and so I think backup is... But they want know, the peace of mind. They want they, uh, they want uh, something. They want the peace of mind. They want to know that, you know, they can keep life running at a relatively uh, normal experience for those couple of days while the grid is, is on its way back up. Got it. Cool. Thank you. That's an honest answer. I think we're, we're serving a sweet spot. Yeah. So. So yeah, if that sounds like you, come check out Backup uh, over here on Kickstarter. To our Kickstarter community, thank you guys so much for you know continuing to stick with us uh, in our now fifth Kickstarter. For folks who are new either to Kickstarter or to BioLite, we're super excited to have you in the fold. We really cherish this early adopter community, both for the ways that you encourage us and support us and challenge us to answer you know questions that we haven't thought of. And so just really appreciate your um, participation in this journey with us. We think it's both uh, important for everyone's safety and resiliency and blackouts, but we also think it's really important in terms of progressing thinking around resiliency in a world that is just fundamentally different than the one that a lot of us grew up in. 
Thanks for making the time today and answering questions and comments from the community. Thanks, Erica. All right, well, thanks for tuning in. If you have comments and questions of your own, feel free to drop them in the comments or send us a message. Backup by BioLite is available on Kickstarter through October 18th. Don't sleep on it. It is your chance to get the best deals around. And as a reminder, for our three kilowatt configurations, not only are you gonna get a discount on Kickstarter, you can also qualify for an additional 30% tax credit. Thank you, installed design. <laughs> All right, from all of us here at BioLife, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.